Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you Blended Play, which you can find at blendedplay.com. I wrote a blog article about it last week, and I've got a number of questions about how it works. So let's take a quick look. You can see here I'm signed into my account, and we have five different game templates that we can pick from right now. There's a new one coming soon. All of the templates have the same basic premise of students being assigned to teams or playing individually. And then we display the game board on a projector in our classroom and students answer questions aloud and we give them points and they move up in the game, whether it's the mountain climber where they're trying to uh, climb the mountain or it's a space scale where they're trying to build their spaceships by answering questions correctly. The premise is the same. Students answer questions and get points for doing so and then move forward in the game board template. So let's select Mountain Climber. Hit play now. If you have never used Blended Play before, you might want to create a new game. In creating a new game, would require you to build a set of questions. But if you've previously used it and built a game, you might select Play Now, and then select Load Game, and you can choose some questions that you've previously used. You can choose how many players you're going to have. and then click Submit after you verify that these are in fact the questions you want to use. Now we can rename our characters. I'll just say Team 1, Team 2, we can change our characters, and now Submit. And we'll see here the question is displayed in the top of the game board. Let's say Team 1 answers correctly. Give them a point, and you'll see they start to move up the mountain. You can also display the answer here for students to see. Let's say Team 2 answers that one correctly first. We'll move them up. Next question. And we'll see Team 1 pulling ahead. Team 1 is just going to dominate this game, and they're the winner. They're the top of the game, top of the mountain. And I can now end that game. Can replay it or load a new game. So that's the basics of using blended play in your classroom. Now there's a section called Community Games. Make sure I'm logged back in. Under Community Games, you'll see games that other teachers have made and submitted for public use. Let's choose History. Let's say I look at this one, a Westward Expansion. I'll view it. I can look at all the questions that are in there. So I like that one. Let's go back to it. I'm going to say copy to my games. And now I'll submit it. And now if I go to load a game, let's say I want to use Mountain Climber again. When I go to load a game, I'll now see Western Expansion is available under my game files to play. So that's how you can use Blended Play in your classroom for hosting review games. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.